Are you got any new bed? You gonna get up there? Show mommy. For three-year-old Rhett Lamb, it wasn't long ago that saying goodnight to his mom and dad was nearly impossible. His body would give out, but his mind wouldn't. He'd still be awake. He'd still be alert. Um, and it, it, was, it was extremely scary. In a case that baffled doctors, Rhett was awake nearly 24 hours a day. He was in a bad mood all the time. Uh, he couldn't play. He didn't play. He didn't interact with other children. His frustration level was so high, and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Um, he couldn't communicate with anyone. It was heartbreaking. In this May Good Morning America interview with his parents, David and Shannon Lamb, Rhett can be seen acting out, a never-ending side effect of his lack of sleep. <laughs> his temper got so bad he would give his mother black eyes he would hit you he'd bite you he'd headbutt you he'd uh and anything else around him um and you just you didn't know from one minute to the next what was going to happen honestly it was like he was losing his mind mm -hmm. and there was nothing we could do to help him the lambs even worked around the clock taking opposite shifts just so they could be there for his every sleep deprived move how exhausting was it for you? You get to the point you can't function anymore, and you can't think straight, and you get up in the morning and take a shower to go to work, and you drive to work, and you get there, and you're a robot. You are an absolute robot, and then you dread because you're coming home, and you know it's the same thing over and over and over again. After dozens of doctor's visits and years of conflicting opinions, Rhett was finally diagnosed with a rare brain condition called Chiari malformation. Hey, this is Rhett's MRI. This part of the skull is too small, so this brain is pushed down through the opening at the base of the skull. Once diagnosed, doctors were able to perform risky surgery, offering a 50-50 chance Rhett would be able to sleep for the first time. An incision was made from the base of his skull to the top of his neck to remove bone around the brain stem and around the spinal cord, producing more space, reducing the pressure. You want to go night night? Eight months later, the surgery was a success. Finally, being able to sleep through the night allowed Rhett to go from this. And now with this new surgery. To this. That's a big one. Both of us woke up and we looked Freaking at each out. other. <laughs> we didn't go check on him. Is he okay? So we jumped up and ran into his room. We were checking to see if he was still breathing. We checked to see if he was still <laughs> breathing. Because we were so scared that something had happened and he wasn't gonna wake up you know <laughs> that was the happiest moment mm -hmm. that was amazing. it was amazing because of the disease Rhett at just three years old was functioning at the level of an 18 month old and couldn't even speak but now in just a matter of months he's almost caught up to his peers and for the first time is interacting with other children how proud are you of Rhett now that you see his advancements he couldn't, you know, hug on him or touch him or anything. And now he walks to the door with his arms wide open and gives you a big hug and kisses. Yeah. And he'll say, give me a kiss. And you're just, and it's heartbreaking at this point because you just kind of look at him and go, this is something I never thought I'd have. Night, night.